So we have here a differentiation problem where we're given this formula for x minus 1 to the power 12. And we're asked to, to differentiate it. Now, it all would be well if it was just x to the power 12 because we know the rule for that. We bring down the power and then subtract 1 from the index. So 12x to the power 11, that's in general the formula there that we would be using is this one, the power, power rule. Well, there is a souped up power rule, if you like. That's uh, an example of the chain rule where differentiating something that is raised to the power 12, for instance, but it's not x. That works provided we do an adjustment and we have to differentiate whatever is in the bracket. So if there's some sort of formula involving x, like in this case 4x minus 1, inside and pretending to be an x, if you like, then provided we differentiate that and multiply by the result, then that power rule still works. So in this case, we would say, OK, there's something to the power 12, so it'll be 12 times that something to the power 11 times, well, let's do this in red, times whatever we get when we differentiate 4x minus 1 which you know is 4. So there's our formula. We'll just tidy that up. 4 times the 12 is 48. 4x four minus 1 to the power 11. So that's an example of the chain rule, or a, a, a souped-up power rule, if you like, where there's something instead of an x, this f of x. So we use the power rule, but then multiply by what you get when you differentiate the thing that's pretending to be an x, if you like. So 4x minus 1 to the 12, 12 times 4x minus 11 times what you get when you differentiate 4x minus 1, which is an adjustment times 4. And the 4 times the 12 is 48. 48, 4x minus 1 to the power 11.